everybody and welcome back to another OMG Craft. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to join the Minecraft preview so that you can take a look at what has been known as the Minecraft Bedrock Beta version. So what has been going on here with Minecraft Bedrock? In the past, you had to opt in to the Xbox Insider Hub to be able to get the Minecraft Beta and that had all the cool new features that they were developing for Minecraft. But there was an issue. It took over your Minecraft game, completely uninstalling the old Minecraft and re and you know now newly installing this beta. And so any worlds that you had, you couldn't really play while you were in this beta. And then to get out of it, you had to to say that you wanted to leave and then it was like sometimes it like just wouldn't let you leave like it would just stick around super hard to install you'd have to uninstall everything which might end up deleting your worlds super complicated so what ended up happening is now we have a new app that we can download called the minecraft preview and this is completely separate than your normal Minecraft Bedrock version, which is amazing. So everything that happens in the preview is kind of stuck over there on the preview. And anything that happens in your normal Minecraft that is just the normal release of Minecraft doesn't have to be integrated in with the preview. So I absolutely love this. Now you can currently get the preview on Windows and iOS. And there's still a way to go through. You can get the beta still on Xbox by using the Xbox Insider. Uh, so we're just going to cover how to get the Minecraft preview on iOS and on Windows. So unfortunately, if you're on Android or if you're still on Xbox or if you're on any other console, uh, there's no way for you guys to get the preview as of recording this video. I'll hopefully make an updated video in the future. Uh, but just to let you know, if you're not on Windows or on iOS, sorry, you're not going to be able to get the preview. So let's jump in. How do we get it? The first step is to head on over to this page, the Minecraft Preview FAQ. And the way you get here is by going to redstone.ne, which spells out redstone. If you remove the dot, it's kind of confusing, but redstone slash preview and this will take you here and this is going to have all of the links that you need to follow in order to get uh what you want so uh first off let's cover ios because that is uh in this little paragraph this is where we're going to start so they start with ios so we are going to start as well first you need to download test flight so head on over to the app store click on search and then type in there test flight and go ahead and find this app it should be made by apple so this is what you want if you don't have it downloaded go ahead and download it next go to safari and just like before we're going to type out redsta.ne and then preview and hit enter and that will take us to the same blog post but this time on the phone we're gonna go to that same area and right there, <laughs> we're going to click that. That will open up test flight and we wanna hit open. That will take you to this page where you choose accept and then you download the preview. Once we've done that, then we actually have Minecraft. This is the first time that I'm like opening up the preview on this phone. So it's kind of giving me some of this stuff, but there you go. You can see that it is the preview, create a new world at the top of the screen. There's all that text stuff. And we even have the cool new uh, world generation thing. So there you go. That is how you get the preview on iOS. Now, one thing to mention is that during, uh, or on their blog post, they mentioned that they only have a limited number of slots. So there's a chance that if you don't hurry and become uh, like a member of the of the test flight, then you might not, you m might uh, be locked out because there's too many people. So do it quickly as of watching this video. Okay, so we're back here on the computer and it's weird because it mentions Windows twice and these are like the same instructions. On Windows, anyone who already owns Bedrock 
and then over here on Windows, anyone who already owns Bedrock. Uh, so there you go. Uh, you, I guess maybe this is about the Xbox Game Pass or whatever, but basically you're just going to click either of these links. Uh, this one, I believe, will take you to the Xbox app. At least it did on my computer. Okay, so this took me to the web page of the window of the Xbox store. Um, and then if that doesn't work, back over here, there's another link below the first one. And this link will ask your computer if it will open up the Microsoft store on your computer. So I did this and this was useful for me and that will open up the Microsoft store. So here is the Microsoft store and you may be thinking to yourself like, okay, well, if I can just get it in the Microsoft store, why don't I just go up here to this search thing and search Minecraft preview? <gasps> Well, no, it doesn't show up for some reason. It's like completely hidden. You have to do it from the blog post in order to find it. Uh, what is this imposter online? That is sus right there. Uh, so don't search for it. You have to go to the blog post and click on the link uh, on either of these links. Uh, and that is how you get it. And once again, your account that you're signed into must already own the Bedrock version for you to be able to download it. Once you do, and it verifies that you do, you can just download it like a normal app. Here is that page one more time. Microsoft Minecraft Preview for Windows. I'm already in it. And so now I can just click play and it opens it really small. Uh, but there you go. This is also the Minecraft pre Preview. I happen to be on Windows 11, but I've done this on Windows 10 just fine. So I don't think that that should be uh, a worry. But as you can see, preview. Oh, we got the music playing. Got to go in here. Turn my music off. First thing I ever do uh, whenever I start a new Minecraft. So there you go. That's two different ways to get the Minecraft preview. Okay, so now that we have the preview, don't stop watching. Either if you're on iOS or on uh, Windows. That's because there is one more step you have to do in order to get the new features, which kind of threw me off. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a new world. And on this new design, that feature is hidden currently. Now, remember, I'm on 1.18.30.27 up here. So maybe in the future they fix it. But you have to choose the button, and I have to hide my thing. You have to choose this button here, go back to old design. You must choose this button. It'll be like, you sure you want to go back? And I'm like, yes, I do, because down here, oh, you need to enable the wild update right here, this thing that I am flashing on and off for you. Uh, that needs to be turned on in order to get all of the things. And then also this vanilla experience thing, experiments, this is the only way that I was able to get the new horns in Minecraft. So for some reason, these two things need to be flipped on. And those buttons don't exist if you're in the new layout. We can go up here, switch to the new UI if we want to, but those don't exist if you're in the new layout and they both need to be turned on in order to get every single new feature. And here we are inside of the preview. We can test this out by looking for maybe, uh, what should we look for? A oh, horn? Look at this, what? What are the, we got the crazy horns here. Here we go. Yeah, we also get some frogs. We got some uh, frog lights. So as you can see, the preview is working. And also right by the by all the text at the top of my screen, you can tell that we are in the preview. So that is how it works, my friends. So I hope you found this video useful and you were able to join the preview. I hope you came here and wanted to do it and now you, now you did it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts. If you like Let's Plays, please check out my Facebook page, which is in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.